Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, Dagestan have decided they want to uh, get things over with quickly and have decided to sally and attack us. And their forces are mostly uh, provincial cavalry, some regiments of horse, and line infantry. So I believe it will be a fairly short, sharp action to see them off. So this will push their army back. Then our force can probably attack the city and capture it once and for all. Then we can continue our offensive. But yes, let's get set up and see what's cracking. We're going to have enemy reinforcements coming in from potential directions, but they should all be coming in from... Well, they shouldn't be coming in directly behind us. Not much I do know. Artillery on the hill, fire it. Oh no, no, don't unlimber. Fire it will off. I want to push my infantry down off the hill. Frontiersmen cover the right. With pike support, grenadiers on the left. Mix up my cavalry. And then my howitzers just set up. Probably fire a round shot. See if they can gain a bit of experience. Yeah, there we go. They're all coming in from where you would expect them to. So let's form a power line like so. Push up the grenadier. Push up my frontiersmen. Keep the pikes nearby for support grenadiers are doing oh okay I've... So I deployed them once and then I shift clicked now they're redeploying again something like that's what I want All my artillery open fire on targets you wish to engage. Good hits, now they're within range of my musketry. I mean, this is going to be highly symptomatic of the, what the rest of the actions are going to be like. That's a lot of cav. Tribal Auxiliary have fire will on, which is handy. Move my pikes around to provide a bit more support. Redirect my frontiersmen. Yeah, I want to try and... Oh, that guy, he had a... Yeah, he had a number on his head. Let's get my... Troops and so on on the right flank in. Yep, everyone's... Everyone's dying pretty rapidly here. Okay, let's retarget my foot artillery. Yeah, everyone pursue. I'm not afraid of the large numbers because we have pikes. Regiment of horse. Push up my cavalry. Yeah, my infantry block could stay as is for now. Push my cavalry in, make my grenadiers be fire will off. Come on, pikemen. Get involved. You are a key discriminator here. Oh, it says. Begin to drop shells in the enemy infantry as they mass, especially these ones on the right. I mean, I've got household cavalry here. Looks like provincial cavalry is working their way around the flank. Yeah, as, it, as, you, as I kind of expected, they were interested in going straight for the engagement. Gunners just engage the enemy infantry.
push my grenadiers up potentially quarterback my cavalry although they are likely not going to need it charge the regiment of horse while they're pinned there we go now my pikes are in they're going to really cut through this enemy light cavalry it's part of the reason why pikemen are just so damn valuable You men push up here. Let's orientate our line a little, reorientate our line a little bit. Bring my pikes back to engage the enemy infantry. Same with my cavalry. Grenadiers charge the infantry here. Where are my cavalry? Form out, ready to engage. The enemy line. Retarget the guns to focus more on the infantry units in the center. Human fall back, pull my cavalry back. Keep pushing on into the enemy. Infantry here. We're not overly bothered about making sure they all die because uh, pretty sure they're going to be fairly knackered as is. Okay, you guys may smash the eighth so you can get on killing. My general down into the fight. Okay, right. Artillery just ceased fire. Provincial cavalry is returning. The regiment of horses returned, but sadly they've chosen my pikes. No, oh, actually they came back from uh, routing. Not entirely surprising. They, they will not stick around for very long. Begin slaughtering the enemy. Keep pushing my troops up. Although, frankly, they're not going to be super duper relevant. General. Just get involved. Kill the enemy, General. you and destroy the enemy infantry. Let's mass my artillery against their last unit, the ninth. There to the rear. Eh, House of Cavalry is a bit dodgy, throwing them against the seventh like that, but you're gonna be okay. First water. Come on, take them out. There's only three of them. You're taking out the seventh, so let's make these guys fire it well off. Good, I believe that is all of them. So you men go for the fifth, you men go for the tenth. Let's keep speeding up. Artillery cease fire. Oh, yeah, sadly, many men will escape. But many will suffer. See, if you'd sat inside your town, you might have lasted a bit longer. Damn right, it was decisive. They marched onto the open field and they were eliminated. Back you go. Colin, Saxony. Yep. Everyone's carrying on as they were. Nice. Missionary New England. Okay, let's get you... Let's get you over to... Uh, maybe in... Uh, 
Catholicism are okay. I yeah, no, Europe. Still useful. Plenty of undiscovered lands. Let's recruit a sloop. So, Virginia. Still converting. Okay, let's get on with our upgrades. We've conquered new territories. Time to show them the benefits of being part of our empire. Nice, nice, nice. Cobbled roads, which we did. <laughs> Global Trading Company, why not? We are... We are absolutely rolling in cash. Excellent. Yep, Iceland as well. I mean, none of these are, are fantastic regions for production. But uh, you know, I'll, if they're producing for us, that's a that's a better outcome than producing for the enemy. So at Cologne, we're gonna go to church school. I mean, it's kind of overkill, but it's okay. So Quebec, keep on upgrading our military. So you're gonna be the home of a. Garrison army. I may take my militia over to Boston and say, right, let's have an army that can defend the continental US. We can have a garrison at Boston with artillery. Something like that. Fleet arrives. Ooh, come on. Okay, so Genoa, plus who's here? No one. Interesting. Let's claim it. I mean, you're a little bit more than a raiding army. So I may... Hmm. Okay, I think I need to start recruiting trade ships. use breast to do that so we're going to build four fourth rates and then after that we're going to fill it full of galleons and other bits and pieces actually no sorry i've already done that here i keep recruiting them actually no if i'm going to do it properly so let's bring each of these actually bring them out to the atlantic I mean, the rocket ship is potentially going to look for a new home. Maybe that medium fleet in Gibraltar. Something like that. You still have your orders. So each of these chaps are going to get their own admiral as befits the leader of a squadron. I don't want. Th There's no need for third rates. How many, how many galleons, like bog standard galleons, can I build? I mean, you are here. Sloop, sloop, sloop of war, brig, brig, bomb, get, bomb, get, rocket ship. Privateers kind of fit the role. Well, there's no limit to galleons. So if I just move you over here... I'm just curious, is it cycling out units depending on what's the closest thing? I think, I think 15 is the limit on privateers. Yeah, it is. I mean, war galleons, they're good, but they're not the same. Can it start to just... Do this, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Orders do navio recebido. Orders recebidas. E com orders do navio que forma de navio e em boa ordem, capitão. Hey, no sleeps. Two, three, four, five, six. Mudar de direção.
Something like that. Okay. Cruising in Alsace Lorraine. Yes, we do want a garrison. Let's repair the water power cloth mill. Just a second. Right, so Amsterdam is chill with us. I mean, I can't imagine they'll be chill with us if we leave. Minus three is not bad. A detachment of line will pacify you. So you're ready. Give these troops orders to advance across Europe. Like we said, our intention is to... We don't want to give uh, Saxony carte blanche to do whatever they like. He may keep punishing. Let's mass towards the north. Then we take out Yogava and push on to Riga. Then Vilnius. How long? You're one turn away from recruiting actual units. I mean, Kiev is right there. Unexposed. It's completely exposed. So I'm going to push it. We're probably going to get raided, but they're not going to capture Crimea. But I will take that as an outcome. First of all, how well equipped are you now? We are garrison army in the first instance, aren't you? But you're now fully equipped. Make sure you're still recruiting. We have no visibility on what's coming, if there is anything coming. First of all, let's go after Dagestan. Let's blow open the city, capture it, destroy them, and then that will be, I think, almost all of the wars against the protectorates completed. And we may, we will continue have to get to keep pushing towards Persia. But I'd like to think if I can take. Esfahan down the line they may chill out a little bit maybe not entirely but just a little bit just a teeny weeny little bit although I may start um, recruiting the armies to land in India well I will I will need to do that the artillery Drop the guns. Okay, we're going to concentrate on one breach, but have a second just to spread out the enemy's effort. We're going to send one detachment around to secure the, the gates somewhere else. Well, not just somewhere else. Trying to secure the gates. To provide another access for our cavalry. Okay, how it's just fire. Quick climb or whatever they like. Foot artillery. Ooh. Interesting. Commit the cavalry. Commit the infantry. Yeah, they're coming. Let's fire will off. Let's make them walk. Let the cavalry get through. My ranged cavalry aren't here. Send my cavalry out. Actually, send dispatch my light cavalry to go wide and intercept this regiment of horse. Gonna take it's gonna deal with them. Uh, my foot artillery. Yeah. Engage at the corner. Corners are always good. I mean the enemy cavalry, there's no way they're gonna stick around for that long. We may have clo colonial lights in the mix, but we've got Curacier and Household Cavalry. These guys 
have no bayonets, so uh, they will be ripe. I'm happy to let my let my infantry just kind of not do much, because they're going to be more important come the attack on the city. Okay, right. Charge straight on into the enemy. We've got some troops here to try and defend against us, but let's speed up time. Although, to be fair, it looks like my foot artillery are engaging the mortars in the centre, which is an admirable option, but it's not really the sort of thing we're super bothered about. But I'm only speeding up time so that we can increase... Oh, they're still attacking the... Okay, back here. And again, because it's raining, we're getting some questionable sound behaviour. I mean, it's interesting because they are. Okay, have we got this. Okay, this so this can be an issue with Empire, but I have no idea why it seems to be so pervasive. Sometimes when you give orders during time compression, it kind of decides, you know, no, I'm not going to do it. Okay, now they're attacking it. Just don't give them any more orders. Let my quick climbers do the work. I mean, once they've finished, they can continue bombarding the mortars. I just want to get away in. Maybe make one of the mortar units, how its units attack the line infantry. The rest can continue to attack the biolock armed citizenry. Still going to town, but once we make that breach, they will set up attempting to defend it. Quite a lot of citizenry is very upset. Those guys may not die. No, they're definitely not going to die now. They've made it. Although we are damaging the unit behind them as well from uh, shots going over and hitting this unit here, or this fortification. Boom, so we knock that down. So then go for... And theoretically, they should go for that because I gave the order during slow time. Oh my god. Good quick climb fire. charge in. We knocked out one of the guns. Ah, it looks like we've decided we are not going to attack the centre anymore. And that's okay. Now as when we close in from all directions to prevent the enemy from massing any in any one place, our infantry are going to be getting hit hard by mortars. You scale there, you scale the gate itself. You may also scale here to fight against the infantry here. Just push in, you guys. Let's get our regiment, a line infantry, to scale the wall here along with you. Frontiersmen, hold. Tribal auxiliary, hold in front of the gate. Give people orders. 
just push through where applicable. If he, see, if these guys can scale the wall, my cavalry here can just run straight on in. Now it says round shot, engage the mortar garrison units. There we go. Pikes have made contact with the first auto garrison line. These men are going to go after Firelock Arms citizenry. It wavering because of the shots in the flank plus the mortar fire. Let's bring my general up. Yeah, these men are here to fight the militia. We've captured one of the gates. There we go, this main gatehouse, that's what I'm interested in. Run my frontiersmen in, run my cavalry in. Cease fire the artillery. Yep, starting to chug. Come on, men, secure the gate. Here come my private auxiliary. These men push forward. You men occupy the armory because that's kind of thematic. There you men are engaging the enemy militia. Form a blocking force here against troops coming in from the fort. Kill the last of the mortar. Actually, let's get one of the one of my infantry units to hold the square. Run my general in. You men hit that garrison unit there. Wheel right. The light cavalry found them. See, they're going to run in and ruin all our fun. Even though they're a garrison unit, should die very rapidly. Not quite sure why you're running over here. I mean, those men will deal with the militia, fair enough. Yep, yeah, it's the good old Empire Siege Chug. as the standard is slowly lowered. Come on men, engage! I mean, yeah, they're being cut through, wouldn't be surprised if they just break. hole in the line bravely. I mean, they look pretty neat, decent, just for militia. Yep, yeah, there goes the troops at the front. Push my pikemen in. They're the only unit that's steady. In 40 odd seconds, the city will be ours and the faction will be destroyed. We're slowly hacking our way through the militia. Shattered, shattered. Their will to resist was almost entirely destroyed. Everyone else. Form on the parade ground. There we go, they broke too. And now they're dying in their droves. Nice. Ten seconds left to go. I will take the victory. How about you? I mean, they will really hate us. So you're not going to go anywhere for a while. Let's get rid of the university. It's a modern university as well. Actually, that will get us into positive territory across the board. Nice. Got a bit more visibility on the road from Persia. Just keep replenishing. Keep recruiting. 
human replenishing, you may end up threatening Moscow, maybe. You're going to push up and hit Kazan. Just demand the surrender of the town. Fortify it here at Ufa. So if we've secured Dagestan, then these militia can push up towards Kazan to garrison it. I really should have checked that wouldn't screw us over, and it didn't, thankfully. Okay, let's build one religious building, a couple of industrial buildings, get some farms on the go. We don't even have basic roads. Can you leave Kazan quickly? You can. Go for Ust. Yeah, let's get these militia up here to help defend it while we rebuild. I mean, we can't really recruit. We can recruit mercenaries there. That's pretty good. To be honest, you probably should just advance anyway. We can produce extra infantry. Plug any gaps. You may actually push up and threaten Moscow. Mere garrison army threatening the... The capital of a great nation. So we've done all this stuff. We've sorted you out. We've got inf our um, armies working their way back across from Central Americas. My priest, is he still required? 100% Catholic. Pretty sure we've done most of these guys. A little bit of animism there. Yeah, let's just make sure they... Oh, no, they're going to be dealt with through Mr. Jimenez, Catholic. Go to Albany. The army, however, may not be so easily moved. No, absolutely not. It's going to take some time. Up here with the Inuit, I imagine it's the same. Let's demolish you. Get the roads built. Two ports up here. To develop, which is pretty nice. Armies are punishing, roads are building. Awesome. So we're building armies in Portugal, in um, Sri Lanka, sorry. To land in Indian territory. Four slots left. Two infantry units plus. Get a native Indian land. Oh, I've already got one of those. Uh -huh. So recruiting two units, two more units of infantry. Let's get another unit of company infantry and another unit of cuirassier. Then start all over again. Something like that. Meanwhile, over in Europe, we've got you on the go. To be honest, I'm going to start a few armies. So you're going to get Carabiner, Lancer Guard, Curassier, and we need a second Curassier unit, really. Let's get a rocket troop. Heavy Horse Guard Artillery, Heavy Horse Howitzer, plus two of you, plus one Heavy Howitzer unit. Well, 12 pounders are good enough. Cool. Not overly anxious to do much more recruitment than that. Progress in Europe is strong. We're pushing across here. We're still sieging the enemy in the east. And I am content to remain doing so. You are not going to assassinate anyone. You want to go look at Lviv to see what's over here. You're going to go and try and get a look at Vilnius. Well, our next army's clear. They're going to go look at Yelgava. Other than that, things are looking pretty decent. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. One more turn to you can get regular line infantry. Good, good, good. Just keep on recruiting. So let's hit end turn.
and yet my agents are still making their way across North Africa, which I'm fine with because it means they'll do conversion along the way. Austria is continuing. I mean, at some point we have to deal with Spain. I suppose we should... Do I deal with Spain? Don't I, have to, don't know, I don't have to deal with them until they eventually attack their way through to my borders. I think I'd rather invade India. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit mean to just sit here sieging the garrisons here in the east, but I don't... My offensive, the, the territory I'm gaining in the east is... It's fine. The rate at which I'm doing it is fine. I am more than happy to pin down their forces in the west, just to allow my forces in the east to break out. Um, I'm not. I don't feel compelled to push through Western Russia, especially when. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm content just to keep them pinned. I mean, you guys are just gonna deploy up here. No defenses and nothing. These troops going to be in reserve. Put artillery up here on the hill. And for the most part, just sit here and shoot them. Yep, when the enemy is very weak, they uh, they deploy right up in your face. Well, relatively, I suppose. Let's take these grenadiers and mercenaries and push them out onto the right flank. Although it looks like they are falling back. Or attempting to. Just blast their infantry. At some point they will have to realize they cannot they will realize they cannot run away skirmishers make sure my carabiner do not run in front of my general's bodyguard Are you trying to fall back into the fort? I'm not even quick climbing, I'm just firing good old artillery shots. Yeah, they are. They are just running away. I don't want to push up too aggressively, but there's not a lot else we can really do. By lock armed citizenry, just start to attack. Where, where are you going? What are you doing? Yeah, they, they literally are just going to run back inside the fort. You cowards. Oh, they've been... <laughs> I've managed to fire enough shots to get them to surrender the fort. Very well. If you're going to surrender it, we will take it. I've never seen this sort of behaviour from the AI. Like, ever. They just have no interest in... I suppose their calculus is, you know, ooh, we have to attack, otherwise we lose the city now. But in the battle, the battle AI is there going, yeah, but I don't want to fight. Firelock on the citizenry back. Let's 
cease the water fire. The line infantry secure the gate. Try and make sure we don't just completely lose our general to a bunch of peasants with firelocks. Just storm in. The second regiment of garrison foot here has gone half outside of the fort and half inside, so they're going to struggle to coordinate their efforts. My infantry won't care. Fire present. Yeah, just let these men form up. As long as no one gets stuck on the wall. So my expat infantry are going to be a little slow in getting into position. But everyone else. Firing at will. Second rank. That's enough to make them rout. Get involved. You men have honorably attempted to resist. You are just militia. You can't be expected to fight. Fighting, continuing to fight is not required. Go home. Actually, no. You're coming to our cells, boyos. There we go. That was Warsaw taken quite handily. What are you going to do now, Russia? All those gentlemen having to flee because they're going to lose their precious research. You can raid as much as you like. I'm not interested. We've got two armies coming up from the west that'll deal with you. I don't need you get getting any ideas, Sweden. Our blockade of Spain is just conclusive. Ooh, okay, right, right, right. Okay, right. That's marginally concerning. Two stacks. Well, not two stacks. Two armies that make up a significant contingent of ooh, a Catholic missionary in Ceylon. Let's get you deployed into Goa. Oh, they're already majority Catholic, but they can always be more Catholic. Ain't that the truth? So, construction work. Okay, right. Let's minimize this, because you have stopped moving. Get back over to Philly. And replenish on the way. Okay, better roads. Let's get top roads. Can you leave? Merta. Minus three. Merta. Yeah, the garrison force from Gibraltar can deal with them. I ask because this may well be beneficial. Scoot you guys along into Batumi. Then we can bring the army into the fight. Why would you choose to intercept that? Why? 
how bizarre. Because it's with this army, not this one. So it's not as if they've got an easier um, an easier option. And they could have just waited. I mean, I might have attacked them, sure, but it would have been the same result. If they waited, there's a chance I didn't attack them and they could bring a larger force to bear. Granted, that larger force isn't particularly more lethal than what they've already got, but, you know, still... Silly AI. Oh, and it's in a funky town and it's raining. So this is how the AI hopes to beat me, eh? By whittling down my will to play the game. Just deploy the artillery. The artillery, eh, there's no really good places to put it. Let the artillery destroy the enemy. That's the simple way to do it. Everyone's going to be going after that one artillery unit. Rockets are... Yeah, they should be firing. See, look, a lot. there's one guy left. And there he goes. Okay, let's speed up time. They're going around the city, which is a good idea. Let's take... Household cavalry and lancer guards, get them up onto the flank. Try hitting them with both of my howitzer units. My infantry or my foot artillery doesn't have targets. Let's scoot this forward a little bit, get one more howitzer shot off. Plus rockets. Yeah, they're not going to be here for long. Begin to retarget my howitzers. Why have you gone that way? What a bizarre choice. Let's speed up time just to try and attack the camel nomads. Who's that coming right up the front? Desert warriors. Interesting choice. Household cavalry deal with the camel nomads. Lancer guards just hold position. Bowman lost a lot of chaps. Come on, household cavalry. Deal with the nomads. Who's in the center? You're going after the camel gunners. They've lost a significant contingent of their forces. I want to see the rockets fire again. Curious okay, right, right, sleeping. So where are they gonna go? who are they gonna go for? That's the question. Oh straight at the desert warriors right to the front. Good hits. Okay, let's commit my other cavalry here as well. So the Lancer Guards are going to smash into the enemy bowmen. Howitzers both engage camel gunners to the rear here. Push out the infantry to deal with scallywags in town. Excellent hit. That's a lot of dead camels. You guys have to break soon, surely, don't you? Yes, you do. Camels are shattered. Bring my heavy cavalry back. Withdraw the Lancer Guards. 
General's bodyguard is on the move. Light cavalry sharpshooters also get in. There you go. Household cavalry's in. Lancer guards about face and get involved. Light cavalry sharpshooters. They're not even going to get a volley off. They're going to go straight into them too. Suppose the intention is they must think if I ooh okay that's musket fire not how oh, it's a fire now they're engaging the general's bodyguard I see okay let's get the line infantry involved as well so you may get bogged down I mean the household cavalry will have a great time but a bit of infantry helps grease the wheels. More rocket firing and some Fellaine musketeers. You're not running in the correct direction. And let's just make sure those guys are finished off. Oh, and who's come back? Oh, the General's bodyguard came back. Will the General himself be killed? I don't think he's, he's any. He's not either. Oh, he's. No, they're, they're pretty similar. No idea. But still, there goes the first Persian force, which, like I said, was a bit of a weird decision for them. So you men just replenish. Yeah, yeah that army will go down quick. It'd be even better when we get more garrison troops recruited. Let's build the church school because we're going to need increasing numbers of missionary missionaries you push up to Kazan okay do something like this push the last militia unit up you keep pushing towards Ust you push on to Kazan as well get some upgrades so we never finished doing this. Okay, can't see if I cough no. Okay, so as we went on the offensive a bit, we have gained more things we need to build. So we did have a little uh, low tide moment where we had a lot of money coming in but not a lot to spend it on. But now, thankfully, we are getting more things to spend money on. Algonquin territory, getting both of you done. Paris, extra clans, built fortifications. Okay, so Warsaw is ours, and they don't like it. Let's get rid of the school. That will probably almost get us back to where we need to be. All of the buildings in town are incredibly depleted. Or destroyed, rather, not depleted. New men push up to support the army to the north. Just keep on driving down... If still not repaired all the buildings in Brandenburg. Ah, new priest. I can't get him into theatre. Just drop him off the coast. We've still got the Baltic bottle there. I'm not interested in pushing because we've got the joint Courland and Russian fleets there. So you've dropped off your agent, then you can redeploy to Mallorca. Then the agent get to Konigsberg. My rake get on to Minsk. Let's see who we got. Who we got? Russian missionary. I said one guy straight on to Moscow. You're going to demand the surrender of Kiev. 
because there's no one there except for the garrison they generate. So, understandably, they fell immediately. Can't build anything yet. But Crimea is able, or is, is now able to build infantry. You, I mean, just have a look at Moscow. You might even just siege it, not necessarily attack it, just siege it and force them to uh, force them to come to you. Workers on strike in the Netherlands. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure most of these are all okay. Yeah. I mean, you're Catholic mostly anyway. The agent's going to go up to St. Petersburg, see what's going on up there. Uh, hmm. Let's check some of this recruitment. And probably stand to just. Actually, maybe not. I mean, I know you need infantry. Two Grenadier Guard. Two Royal Colour Infantry Guard, why not? Plus two Mercenaries. You man go for... Actually, you might go for two Royal Colour Infantry Guard as well. No, not Fusiliers. Because they'll be coming from Tangier. Yeah. Three turns to get them here, but that's okay. Nice. Let's... Krakow is going down. We're okay with the technology research plan. <laughs> Everyone's on their grand mission to spread the word of God. I can't remember where, you, where that is. I mean, at some point, Austria will wise up and realise that letting us do what we're doing is a bad idea. Ooh. Ooh, Russia's built a fleet against us. Or built some ships against us. Um, yeah, we'll fight it. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for a bit of a Spanish Navy breakout. Cheers everyone.